Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. I'm Bran. And today we're playing another of the Final Girl franchises. Yes, continuing with the organism with high stakes hide and seek. Yes. <laughs> um, this is an interesting one. There's a lot of different stuff that it's doing. So, uh, is there anything else I need to say? Don't forget your slap slot off shotgun. Ah, uh, yes. Don't forget your shot off shotgun. Shot off shotgun. Your shot off shotgun. <laughs> Don't forget the shot off shotgun. Um, with that, let's get to the table. Yuki Fox has been a survivor from birth. Her mother had her own experience as a final girl while in labor. That's a story for another time. But because they were both tenacious enough to survive the ordeal, her mother named her Yuki, an Inuit name meaning survivor. Yuki is incredibly tough, and along with her dog, an Alaskan Malamute named Gus, is often hired as a companion by adventurers and danger seekers. She is exactly the person Station 2891 research crew needed to help them survive the frigid wasteland. Just how the organism escaped the Arctic will always be a mystery. Perhaps the victim that disappeared from the station survived and carried the virus back to the States. Maybe one of the tests was incorrect, or somehow someone accidentally got away without being tested. To Yuki, it didn't really matter. She'd come to this cottage for some much-needed R&R, and to reunite with the survivors of the incident in the Arctic. She did not expect to also reunite with the organism they thought they'd destroyed. But that is exactly what happened, as she heard a scream from the back porch. Her friend Ludwig was holding the side of his neck, his blood covered his hand. The thing, whatever it was, scurried out into the darkness and around the side of the house. Quick, Ludwig, get inside and get that bandaged up. Welcome back. And here we are. All set up again. Just because I wanted to make that really weird with my hand passing over all on its own. <laughs> um, map set off to the side. That's why that all looks weird. In case you're new to watching these. Yeah, so let's get into the boring part. Um, time step so you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear it. And if you do don't mind hearing it, just stay here. So we are doing high stakes hide and seek. Uh, we've got final girl is Yuki there. Uh, set up is grad party. Check my work as soon as my arm's out the way. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to totally hold the card up there so that way you can see it. <laughs> uh, set up the item deck as normal. Done that. Event set up the event deck as normal, but starting event is getting resourceful. Which is crafting costs one less time than normal. So usually they cost two or so, I think. I don't know. Um, we are at Windguard Cottage and we have those terror cards. Um, there's two of them. We're passing by and thought we'd heard a scream. Also, that wasn't a random attack. Organism terror cards. There are eight of them. I'm not looking forward to this part. Minor Dark Power, Thick Skin, Minor Dark Power, Extra Legs, Minor Dark Power, uh, Acidic Body Fluids, Hit and Run times 2, Survive at All Costs times 2, and have you seen how disgusting it is? Ew. Yeah. And finally, the finale is Regenerative Assimilation. Uh, special Setup Rules. Place the fast organism on the killer starting space and its card on the killer board. Only place two of the special victims during setup. Remove one of the safe cards from the test results deck. And remove the fast organism from the exposed victim's cards. Don't think we need that for anything else. Um, time for the organism rules. Special setup. Set up the game as normal with the following changes when playing with the organism. When placing victims, randomly place the red, black, and gray killer meeples one at a time in place of three of the yellow victim meeples. These are considered exposed victims. That is done. Nothing is placed on the killer space during setup as the killers is or are hidden amongst the victims, except we've already discussed that special setup. And with the other exception that if playing a location other than the Arctic Station with the lab token, where the killer space is on the setup card. This is the location of the lab, which is a really weird location for this lab. 
<laughs> like, and just off to the side of the porch. It's not even on the porch or anything. It's just... <laughs> I have to keep my lab next to the porch. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Place test kit item card face up above each of the item decks. Most location boards only need three. You can't see that, but it's done. Shuffle the three test result cards and form a face down test results deck, except we only have two this time. Just put those there, I guess. Suppose I could put them up here. Closer over here. I'll just put them up here. Fine, put them right there. I will. Fine. Uh, except there's only two because one of the save cards is already pulled out. Shuffle and place the exposed victim cards face down in the three spaces on the killer board. Ta da! Test special rules. To win, you must test the exposed victims to find out which ones have been assimilated and destroy all mutated organisms. There will always be at least one, but there could be as many as three mutated organisms. Exposed victims are considered victims with the following exceptions. They may never be targeted or killed by a mutated organism. They may not be saved. They may not be replaced with special victim meeples. They always panic during the panic phase even if no victims were killed, and if killed by a game effect like a location terror card event or other effect, immediately draw a test results card and apply the effects. See below. Um, acquiring test kits. When taking an item as a result of a search action card, you may also take a test kit item if one is available at that location. Performing a test on an exposed victim. You can use a test kit or lab location to test exposed to test an exposed victim when you are in their space. This is a free action and does not cost time. Either discard the test kit or simply bring them to the lab and then draw a test results card. The card will tell you if the exposed victim is safe or assimilated. If the exposed victim is safe, remove the test results card from the game, then replace the meeple with a normal yellow victim meeple. If this test was initiated due to an exposed victim being killed, remove it from the board and increase bloodlust since it was a normal victim. They are truly dead. If the victim is assimilated, reveal the rightmost card on the killer board and replace it with a matching mutated organism card. This is now a mutated organism. Place the token matching the meeple above the card, set up the health and final health token as you normally would. Then immediately... That's <laughs> Apparently we're going to try to scat in the middle of this too. I don't even remember where I was. Then immediately apply all of the bloodlust effects on the card from the lowest level of bloodlust. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Let me just start that sentence over. Then immediately apply all of the bloodlust effects on the card from the lowest level of bloodlust through the current level of bloodlust. Important. Shuffle the assimilated test results card back into the test results deck. It is possible the remaining exposed victims have also been assimilated. Mutated organisms. Mutated organisms are considered killers, not minions. They take their killer action and any tarot card killer actions as normal. If multiple mutated organisms are at play, resolve their actions one at a time, starting with the leftmost mutated organism as they appear on the killer board. If the finale has been triggered, the mutated organisms the mutated organisms will have additional killer action effects as denoted by the finale and will perform them directly after the killer actions. Before the finale is triggered, they only perform the killer action followed by resolving a terror card as usual. As you can see, kinda, it's just normal killer action and then your finale actions. So until this is triggered, because we don't have a place to put it, he just panics all the time. Ah! Mutated organism death final health tokens. One of the mutated organisms loses its final final health and there is still at least one other mutated organism on the board lay it on its side and finish the current phase before checking the mutated organism's final health token the token is blank or it has a white final health token the mutated organism is dead and should be removed from the board if it has health replenish its health per the normal rules and that mutated organism is still alive goodness i hate reading out loud sometimes um Although each mutated organism has its own final health token, you only get one bonus. You only get the plus one die bonus once, regardless of how many of the mutated organisms are down to their final health. Example test safe. Yuki acquired a test kit earlier in the game, but since she's 
only one space away from the lab, she decides to play the walk and move to the lab, having the red exposed victim she is with follow her there. Once in the lab, she decides to test the exposed victim. No action is required and no time is spent. You flip over a test result card and the result is safe. You replace the red victim with a normal yellow victim. It can now be saved, targeted, etc. as normal. Example test assimilated. Kate goes into the commander's hut where the gray exposed victim is hanging out. She performs a search action, finding a flare gun, which also allows her to take the test kit at the location. Since she has a test kit and feels somewhat prepared, she decides to go ahead and test the gray exposed victim. No action card is required and no time is spent. She flips over a test result card and the result is assimilated. Oh no! This is the first mutated organism, so she reveals the rightmost exposed victim card on the killer board. It is the tough one. With 7 health, she replaces the card with the revealed mutated organism card and places the gray meeple token above it. The bloodlust token is 3 above the staging space, so Kate resolves the revealed effects starting from the bottom. The mutated organism targets the closest normal victim and moves 2 spaces. The second bloodlust effect is also to move the closest victim, but since it is in the same space as one already, it does not move. Lastly, Kate draws an event card for the current bloodlust level. Finally, she shuffles the assimilated test results card back into the deck with the remaining cards. In this case, both safe cards are still in the deck. And then... Ugh! Wingard Cottage rules. Here's all this stuff. I don't know why you care. Special setup. Set up the game as normal with the following changes when playing Wingard Cottage. Place the four supply item cards face up in the play area. Those are here. Shuffle the crafted item cards together and deal out four face-up cards in the play area. Those I set over by the item cards because it makes sense. Definitions. A house refers to all the following spaces. Kitchen, bedroom times two, bathroom, family room, foyer, laundry room, and garage. Indoors refers to all spaces inside the house as well as the shed and the boathouse. Outdoor space refers to all spaces that are not considered indoors. Suppose that makes sense. That does make sense. But only to some people. To some people, everything is outdoors. And some people need to come into the out. Supply items. Some spaces on the board have supply item symbols corresponding to a specific type of supply item. Like this over here. By this guy. Or in the garage. Boathouse. While on one of these spaces, you may gain the corresponding supply item card at the cost of one time. Place it into a backpack slot. When discarding a supply item card, it goes back into the play area face up. Available to be gained again. Crafted items. Crafting allows you to gain an available crafted item card by discarding the item card and or supply items card listed on the crafted items card, as well as losing the required amount of time. When you gain a crafted item card, either place it into a hand or backpack slot. When discarding a crafted item card, it goes back into the play area face up, available to be crafted again. When items with limited uses are discarded to gain a crafted item card, those uses carry over to the crafted item. For example, the shotgun has one use left when it is discarded to the craft the sawed-off shotgun, when the sawed-off shotgun will also have one use left. The same would apply if the trash can lid is discarded to craft the porcupine. That's it. We're done. Game over. Yeah. All right. Now uh, let's get started, I suppose. So... I am up here, I think, I'm going to try to go to the shed and see what is in there for me to, uh, oh, i got to make sure I'm set right for everything, <laughs> namely the horror track. All right, that's one. I only need to move one space, so it's fine. Okay. And I'm going to do a focus. I'm going to give up weak attack and short rest. Change that. So that way we go down one and gain two time. Nice. I think that's all I'm going to do for the time, for the moment. This feels weird having the board actually close to me. <laughs> Instead of having to play all the way out here. <laughs> okay. So, 
I am I'm gonna take it a short action. I'm gonna search. So distraction was three, one, two, three. Search is two, one, two. I'm gonna take a sprint. One, two, and a close call. Killer phase, killer panics. Re. Oh no, he's at the porch. Uh, acidic body fluids. The mutated organism closest to you gets this power. If there is no mutated organism in play, place this with the remaining mutated organism cards. The next time a mutated organism card is resolved, it gets this card. When you deal one or more damage to this mutated organism, you lose the health. Ouch. So when I hit him, he's going to splash me with acid. All right. And that was my terror card. So upkeep phase, panic, or no, panic phase, right? Yeah. Yeah, panic phase. So, three, go into the driveway. Now the upkeep phase, nothing to upkeep. And back to the top. So we're gonna do a little search. Uh, it's not gonna make any difference, so. Um, I'm gonna keep that, where am I at? I'm at the shed. So you get a blueprint. Uh, discard the blueprint to select a crafted item card from the unused crafted items it is now available to craft. Ooh, uh, flavor text. We are to find blueprints for instruments of death. Perfect time to build one of these. Be good for saw. What do you get? Blueprint. All right, what do I want to take? I think I'm going to take the disemboweler. Yeah. After applying damage to the targeted enemy, uh, horror goes down for each other enemy on the same. Ooh. Reduce horror for each other enemy on the same or adjacent space. Nice. And I get to take a test kit. All right, and should I do my distraction now? Might as well. Oof. Yeah, we're going to use that. Fudge. Give up those. Change it. What am I doing? Distraction. Um, I forgot to move down for the cost on that. So we're just going to move down one. And I think I'm going to wait to do a sprint. I'm going to hang out here in the shed for a minute. Get used to this bat. Hopefully I don't beat myself up with it. <laughs> take, take skill, I think, to do that. Shoot. Gotta buy your other cards first, guy. Oops. Um, five, so we're gonna take a close call. And should I start building up on some stuff? Maybe. Make a furious strike. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. All right, killer phase. Panic. Three. What is it with this guy in the threes? It's his favorite color. Oops. Extra legs. 
The mutated organism closest to you gets this power. If there is no mutated organism in play, place this with the remaining mutated organism cards. The next time a mutated organism card is revealed, it gets this card. This mutated organism gains plus one to its movement value. Okay. Panic phase. Oh, geez. So doing those, should I put them in this order? No, we'll leave it like that. We'll start from the right and work our way, but we have to go back and make it harder for myself. Cause you know, this game's already so easy for me. <laughs> um, oh, he's going in the laundry room. Typical. And is that it? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do a sprint. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do a sprint. I'm going to re-roll this one. Okay. I'll pay for that. Using one, two, three. Lose a time. I saved a person. Yay! So. Goal accomplished. I think I'm going to move a space. And then hmm. No, I'm gonna go this way. And I think I'm gonna stop there for now. What am I doing? Nobody knows. Alright, take this close call off as before. Sprint, and I think guard. Oh, and these guys. Eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. Killer panics. Six, two through four, five through six. Oh, must be really loud in there. Is that why he ran in there? That's why he ran out. Gee, crimey. <laughs> Thick skin. The mutated organism closest to you gets this power. If there is no mutated organism in play, place this with the remaining mutated organism cards. The next time a mutated organism card is revealed, it gets this card. Or should I play it that each one has its own thing? I think you should follow the directions. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about getting any more of those. I've already got them all. <laughs> Such a relief. <laughs> right? Two. All right. Need to... Ah, this thing's coming for me. Let's go for a run. Or not. I want to get at least three. We'll pay that. One, two. Three, and we're gonna go for a walk. All right. Um. Oh, I didn't do my time for that, did I? Nope. Um, all right. Oh shoot! Can I backtrack? This isn't what I meant to do. I don't know, you've already done it, and we do have the house rules. But in one of the previous games, I did. <laughs> That's fine. I made my choice. No. 
because I forgot that I had the test kit and I just wanted to get to them to do a test. But now I don't have to waste the test kit. All right. Safe. Woo. 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 Does that mean the other one is a organism? I don't know that yet. I haven't tested them. But at the very least, means that I don't run the risk of having all three. All right, let's try for another lock here. Bugger. Good rolls. Well, I'm going to take the option, move up to one space, take an ouchie, save both of them, and I'm going to. One of them's gonna give me some painkillers. You know. That's nice. Francine's known for always having pain meds. So I feel a lot better already. And uh we're gonna get a couple time back. <laughs> Tell Francine to have morphine. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna go that far, but <laughs> but given, you know, the movie we just watched, a good, a good person, mm. seems to be the way the world works now. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna stop there, because all I have is Garden Furious Strike, so I can't do a whole lot else. So we got these back. I've got four. I'm gonna do this. This, I think. Okay, killer phase. Time to panic. Four. Terror. So, oh, I should probably get on screen here. Survive at all costs. If there's no mutated organism in play, increase bloodless. But there is. So, target. Um. Final girl or a victim. I think a victim is going to be easier. However, which way do we want to go? Oh no, he's only got one movement right now. So technically that's two. Go the one. This way? Yeah. One, two. Okay. Because he's been the other way already. He knows what's there. Well, that's why I was thinking about going that way because he knows. Well, he's looking for people to assimilate. You know there's no one in the other places. He was just there. He heard people that way. And he, there, he knows there's somebody on the porch. But it's fine. You don't know what he knows. Um. Anyways, so there's no victims over here for him to kill. And because no victim was killed, we do not need to draw the next tarot card. So that way you know I'm not cheating. Because I'm known for doing that. <laughs> All right, and panic him again. One. He's decided he doesn't care. <laughs> well, maybe can't you can't you know locate where the sounds are coming from? All right, we are going to cause a distraction. Go ahead and pay those. Change it to win. Um, I didn't reset my time, did I? I have no idea. I must not have. So I'm not paying. One, two. You. One, two. We're in the green. Woo. Woo. And that's kind of all I can do. Seven. Um, take a close call. And I think retaliate for four. Mm. 
And I'm going to take, I'm going to do something a little odd. Take and improvise. You never did. I know. Kind of weird. Singing about taking another distractions in case it goes up, but all right. See which way he's running. Four. Not sure how I caused a distraction to make him go that way, but I'll take it. <laughs> Survive at all costs. There is no mutated organism in play. Bloodlust. We have that. Ah, finally. So, oh, man, I feel like I didn't mix these up very well. Um, target. Going to move in here. And he's going to claim his first victim. It's a dead man. And then he's going to panic. Four into here. Oh, it's oh. And then victim was killed. Hit and run. There's no mutated organism in play. Raise horror, but we do. Target. Don't need to move. Stab. Another one. Kill it. Panics. Three. Oh, wait, no. I went the wrong way. What was that other roll? I don't know. Shoot. I don't remember what that other roll was. I think it was a four, wasn't it? I really don't know. All right. So we actually went out here. Okay. So, but he is going to move back in here and still kill somebody. Okay, so this still stands. So he goes back out. And this guy is just all over the dang place. Then he's going to target and move. Um, I'm going to roll with... people know the other way so he's going to come in here and freak these people out now we're in panic phase killed that dead man dead all right one so he's going to stay there we got a three and six. Well, the bathroom doesn't seem like a very safe place to go now, does it? But yet, I feel like people hide there a lot. It is a common one. So, yeah. Um, person ran into the bathroom, which is always a good idea. Yeah, like the Shining. Shining. Uh, a lot of them. There's a lot. Yeah, like the Shining. Uh, Halloween. And the Shining. One is, is another one that I'm trying to think of that... I mean, The Shining's probably the most iconic, but... Oh, probably because of the idea that there's only one way in. Usually, this one actually has two. So, not a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> aside from that distraction... Multi-entrance uh, bathroom? Uh-huh. Oh, I guess. I mean, I guess that's sort of thing. I mean, it's not... Too terribly uncommon in nice houses. <laughs> in those fancy places, your bathroom's got two doors. <laughs> you must be rich. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Anyways. Where are we at? We're at the top of the bathroom. Top of the round, right? Yeah, you just panicked. Okay. So I think I don't think I have. I think I just have locks. Trying to buy all my expensive cards up. Up at the front. Let's go for a little walk. Shall we? That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I honestly um, expect to have three dice and just roll blank the entire time. 
That, that wouldn't surprise me. That's what, two spaces, one, two, um, uh, to have that You should already. save them. They're just, it's just right there. Let me see if it's worth it. Once per turn, you may play a copy of the guard card as though it was in your hand. See, here's my problem. Because I've already got Furious Strike. So I don't get that. But then I'll get to flip over. Hmm. Might as well. Why not? I was just going to start walking. <laughs> I would have laughed if that was three again. One. And safe. So, I think this is the first time in the franchise, isn't it? I think so. Got real close uh, the first game, I think. I would think I'd know. I'm going back through those real quick. Once per turn, you may play a copy of the guard card as though it was in your hand. For each additional victim saved, receive less or take, take your hoard down. Cool, so I don't have to worry about wasting time with those cards anymore. With what cards? Guard and Distraction? Distraction and focus, and I just have to worry about saving people. And I can move again. I'm going to come up here, which gives me discarded tools. I need nails for that. What else? And a shotgun. Despite what I just said, I'm going to go ahead and play focus. I mean, I've got it. Might as well flip it, right? I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And so that gives me one more down. So that way I've got a little bit of breathing room now. And buys me back two times. Which should put me at six. I don't think I took the time for my second walk. I don't think you did. That was a brisk walk. <laughs> Okay, that's six. I think I need some sprints. Take these two. Eight. Let's take the other sprint. And I'll take a search because I'm already there. And then panic time. Four. Four. Back outside. Back outside. This guy just really likes this area. Maybe there's lots of fireflies. Hit and run. Again. So target, he's already here. Doesn't need to move. Murder. Just with the key. Um, so the bloodlust moved up one. It says target a victim and kill, but there's nobody to kill there. But we do still need to target and move. So he's going to go back inside. Into the bathroom? I think I need to get to work. I'm killing this guy? Yeah. And then... We need to panic him again. He went in there and went <laughs> and then ran back out. <laughs> <Dear>. <laughs> okay. Where am I at? I'm at the garage. So I can get a chisel. Or another test kit. Yeah. Or not. Perfect. Mm. Let me go ahead and do that. Probably going to be a bad idea. So we're going to, at least I got something out of it. Take the top item card. 
just one eighth of a chisel and a test kit. Feel like that was all just a big waste of time. Feel like you might be right. All right. Um, I'm gonna go for a swing. I'll take that. Now we got a little bit to three. One, two, three. Well, hello there. Who do I think I am, Obi? <laughs> All right, let's start this. I'll take that. Um, so I'm gonna take the one success, which is one damage there, two for that. Oh, I forgot to put things on all these. Um, so I'm gonna take damage. So three does away with thick skin. And then um, horror goes down. So it actually gives me another time, and then I stop. And then, I've got three, so one. Take a guard. Okay, so his turn. Five, six, and run out here. And that wasn't a random attack. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next. Otherwise, target, move, kill, horror up. Already there, kill. How could you allow that to happen? And guess what? What? He panics. Back in here with me. This has got to be the most indecisive. <laughs> well, his brains are kind of all scrambled up. All right, and I did the horror already. Oh, so panic time again. Back outside. <laughs> I'm going to go for a little walk. Two, move up to two spaces. Here and here. Uh, this is going to happen real soon, regardless. Time down. Use a test kit. Oh no, he's assimilated. But I don't have any more of those, so... That should be it. And we got this guy. And just like that, this guy explodes into a whole bunch of blood and guts everywhere. Yeah. I thought you had to be in the lab to do that. That's kidding. No. Oh. If I'm in the lab with them, I can do it for free. I don't need a test kit. Yeah. You're gonna lose. Um, certainly going to be a tough one. All right, so he's already there. Already there, need to pull an event card because with these guys, you have to catch up their track. Victim closest to the driveway, okay is going to make a run for the exit. Roll one die. If the result is a five or six, the victim moves one space closer to the driveway, even if there's a killer in the space. If the result is a one through four, the victim dies. What? <laughs> really? He just dies? I mean, he's at least in a space with a killer right now, so. 
And he dies. Okay. That one's done. Bet already. Grab anything that might make a good weapon. Take the item card, set aside during setup, reveal one at a time till either a weapon is revealed. Take this item or until there are no more of the set aside item cards to reveal. So to just take, oh no, the set aside ones. Set aside ones. All the way over here. Good thing I didn't put those away. Thank goodness for laziness. I guess. All right, we got Mysterious Pills, Lucky Rabbit's Foot, Shotgun. I'll take Shotgun. I mean, I kind of put them away. All right, and then he heals again. Or he heals, but that doesn't matter. Did I pull? I haven't pulled the tarot card yet, have I? Uh, we were passing by and thought we heard a scream. Place two new victims on the porch. And another event card. This has been an eventful turn. <laughs> <laughs> and another event card. This has been. Booby traps. All victims in the house panic. Any victims leaving the house are killed. Don't leave the house. Watch me. There's only one. And there's no out. There's no exit from the bathroom. One of those doors doesn't lead out to the house. No, because this is an in house, not an out house. Uh, one doesn't go anywhere. So well, that wasn't nearly as bad as it seemed like it was gonna be. Gonna I think I just got lucky. All right. Um, it's still my turn. Right? Yeah, that was just the terror card, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. Shoot. Do you have any it's still my turn. Okay. So we'll just wait on that because it hasn't happened yet. Because all we did was find out that this guy is who he is. All right. I'm going to try to walk. Save these people. Well, the ones on the porch aren't there yet. They come in with... The event you haven't done yet, don't they? The terror card one? Oh, yeah. So they're not there yet. Okay. You're welcome. I think I am going to focus then. Look at me trying to metagame. Give up those. Gain two time. Take that down. Okay. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do right now. All right. So he heals. Oh, no. Got a plan first. Got a plan first. Stop jumping the gun. Five, six, eight. Got seven. I think I'm going to take critical blow. Let's call it. But none of those things apply to this guy. Because that's how we're rolling. Because those are all associated to the first guy. Okay. If you say so. Okay. Planning phase complete. Got a plan now. Oh, yeah. Is that plan to panic? Got to do that. I should have done that. I will do that next turn. Remind me next turn that I want to saw off my shotgun. All right. <laughs> okay. Now we're in killer phase. He's not hurt, so he doesn't heal. He's going to freak out like he do. And come back inside. <laughs> At least this guy's entertaining. <laughs> okay. Now, terror card. Place two, two, two victims on the porch. Horror up. And event card, which is booby traps. We'll go ahead and re-roll that. Okay. 
and he runs out there. But this guy doesn't attack people much, so whatever. <sighs> yeah, he's more of a chicken with his head cut off kind of guy. He is. Okay, so nobody died this round, right? Not that I saw. I don't know, a lot happened. No, the one did die, right? Running out of oh, yeah, the run, garage. Trying to run to the driveway. So this guy's going to panic. Two through four. Back into the bathroom. <laughs> That's just a straight up nope. <laughs> oh, no. Two through four and six. And he's going to stay right there. He must be getting dizzy. Got to take a moment. Okay, upkeep phase. I don't want to do anything. Do I want to pick up the shotgun? I think I am. I'm gonna peek here a little bit. No, nope, I'm gonna save the sawed-off shotgun. Save for the sawed-off shotgun. All right. Don't forget that you want to saw off the shotgun. So we are going to do a critical roll. Critical blow. Critical roll. Wrong show. <laughs> yep. Attack. I'm going to give it my short rest or a lot. I'm going to do short rest for right now. So that's one, two, three. Four, five damage. Nice. Five. And four goes down. Now we're going to do a weak attack. And we get an extra die. Take it. It's one. And he's down. So he's popped out of that body and got knocked down? What a rough life. All right, I'm gonna play it this way. And, nice. Maybe it's just this location. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a sprint. Let me give a block and a guard. Change one of those. So, I can move up to three spaces. One, two, three. Save them. Go one, two, which effectively undoes my time from the sprint. And I'm gonna stop there. Jolly. All right, so I'm going to make the decision that because he's down, he can't heal right now. Because otherwise this game will never end. Well, couldn't you, theoretically, if you had another attack card, have attacked him again and ended it? it once he's down, it doesn't matter how many more times I hit him. I have to wait till the end of the killer phase to figure out where he's at. That makes sense, then. I'll allow it. You're welcome. Six. So I'm going to take Beery Strike. Four. four and a close call. And call it good. Uh, sure. Must have disemboweled that guy. So. I have to put all these cards away first. And then the other guys got to panic. Yes, he does. Okay. Now it's killer phase, so he's not doing anything, I decided. And I allowed it. Nope, only need one for him. Two. Where is he at? Back outside. He's <laughs> just in and out. Not even like through the different doors or anything. This is the same one. <laughs> um, like a cat. 
Terror card. Oh my. Have you seen how disgusting it is? There's no mutated organisms in play. Discard. Draw the next terror card. Nope. Horror up two. Bugger. If there's more than one mutated organism in play, another horror. Done. So we uh that was the last terror card. So now we're into the finale. When this card is revealed, any remaining exposed victims are immediately assimilated. Uh, we determined that the other one was safe, so it's okay. If there's only one mutated organism in play, add two horror at the beginning of the killer phase. If the horror level is ever above six, you have been assimilated and lose the game. What's your horror level at? Um, three right now. All right. So, oh, geez. This is going to go South real, real interesting. And I don't have any more victims to save. There's a guy in the bathroom. Yeah, I know, but all right. So that's the end of the killer phase. Let's figure out what this guy did. Shoot. So I think I have been doing these ones wrong because it should only be the two health, right? Let me double check. Have you, did you just condemn that bathroom victim? Uh, maybe. Okay, yeah. I think I have been doing them wrong. I've been adding that many hearts plus the one, but it's supposed to just be the one. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. We'll just run back and kill him real quick. Well, I'm gonna take a leisurely stroll back. And back down to two. It's one. I don't want to use that. So here, so we're doing the walk. Um. I had one success, fail, so I'm going to move here, time down one, I'm going to have a focus, This goes down, go up. Though I don't have to worry about that because there's multiple organisms in play right now. Okay. And I think that's all I'm going to do. Close call. And, and don't one, six, sprint. Fix your car. All right. I'm going to pretend that I did this because I said I was going to. That sawed off shotgun thing? Yeah. You can't say I didn't remind you. I did. And you know, if you're going to cheat like this, you have to play solo games. <laughs> um, all right. Killer phase. He's going to gain health, because that's what he does. He's going to target me. Whoop. I don't know. They're supposed to target victims, huh? One. Two. This is victim first, then final girl. Okay. What? Nothing. I didn't say anything. So nobody to stab, so that doesn't happen. Um, he is going to panic. Three here. Then he is going to. That's not three. He doesn't move three. No. Oh no. This way. Yeah. 
Okay. But uh, he can move up to three spaces. I want to do it just to do something different. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Now kill that guy. He just wanted to catch him off guard. Um, yep, and he is going to kill him. I told you that victim was going to just die. You never gave him a chance. He is going to kill. <sighs> okay. So, it's the end of that. Um, this guy, Phoenix. Four. Okay, so it was panic. Upkeep phase. I'm going to switch to my shotgun. And I'm going to go for a little walk. Yes. One. I'm down. And a uh, sawed off shotgun cannot modify an action card. Must be used without one. Spend one time to deal three damage to the primary target and two damage to other enemies in the same space. So, and I've got a range of. Oh, I think that's supposed to be. Gotta check your addendums. Yeah. I suppose since it's shot off. Since it's shot off. Let me give up those and change that too. I have to be in the same room. Okay. So now, going to spend a time and shoot this guy. So he's going to take three. This guy is going to take two. So I'm going to blow his leg, extra legs off. And take an ouch. Then, do it again. I'm going to do it in reverse. So this guy's going to take that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. And two. And he's just dead. One down. And... We're going to Furious Strike, hopefully. So I'm going to hit him with the sawed off shotgun. Do one damage, horror goes down, and I'm done. <sighs> Killer phase. I guess he's no panic. She is. One. We're in the bedroom, right? So he doesn't go anywhere. He's not afraid of you. Oh, my horror goes up twice. Forgot about that. Is it then, six yet? No, not even okay. close. Then he's going to target me, doesn't need to move, and attack. Going to retaliate. Do damage from attack by two, no damage, and he takes an ouchie. No, he takes two ouchies. So he just lays down then? So he just lays down. That's the end of the killer phase. Yes! I like this location. <laughs> But you've lost here before, haven't you? No, because this is where the Intruders franchise started. Oh, yeah. And that was the only one that I won yeah. on that one. It's a good location, though. <laughs> and I had the shot-off shotgun that time. I got real lucky with my weapon.